Hi Grade 7, it's second quarter! For today, we will approximate the measure of quantities, particularly leg, weight or mass, volume, time, angle, temperature, and rate. It was based on Mathematics 7, Quarter 2, Module Number 1. This is from LRMDS Bulacan. Thank you and congratulations to the development team of this module. Credits to the author, language reviewer, content editor, illustrator, and layout artist of this module. Hi, Matlovers! Are you ready? Let's learn! Have fun! Because mathematics is fun! What I need to know. This module encourages you to learn on how to approximate measurement. At the end of this module, you are expected to approximate measurements, use different measuring instruments to measure length, distance, weight or mass, volume, time, temperature, and rate. What I know. Now turn your module to page 3. Let's answer our pretest. Identify the given units below if what measurement is used for. Then write your answer on the appropriate column below. What's in? Identify the quantity that can be measured by each measuring device. Write the initial or initials of the answer in your answer sheet. L for length, W or M for weight or mass, H for time, A for angle, R for rate, V for volume, and T for temperature. Now let's identify number 1. Meter stick. The answer is length. Let's proceed to number 2. Graduated cylinder. Correct. Volume. Now, for number 3, we have thermometer. Our answer is temperature. For number 4, we have ruler. The answer is length. Now, for number 5, we have bottle of soft drinks. Yes, that is volume. For number 6, we have watch. The answer is time. Now, for number 7, we have calendar. The answer is time. Number 8, we have barrels. Correct, that is a volume. For number 9, we have trundle wheel. Yes, this is for length. For number 10, we have weighing scale. Correct, we have weight or mass. Number 11, wall clock. Yes, that is time. Then we have protractor. Correct, that is angle. Now let's proceed to number 13, sun dial. That is for time. For number 14, we have T-square. Yes, that is length. Now, for number 15, we have beam balance. That is weight or mass. 
Number 16, Hourglass. Yes, that is for time. Now, we have number 17, Volumetric Flask. That is for volume. Number 18, Beakers. Yes, that is also for volume. Last two, number 19, thermocouples. Yes, that is for temperature. Number 20, measuring tape. Correct, that is for length. What's new? Now turn your module to page 5. Using only parts of the arm, record your score results in the table as follows. Choose one member of your family and compare your results. What is it? History of measurement. As mentioned in the first activity, the inch, foot, and yard are said to be based on the cubit. They are the basic unit of length of the English system of measurement, which also includes unit for mass, volume, time, temperature, and angle. Since the inch and foot are both units of length, each can be converted into the other. Now, here are the conversion factors. As you may recall, from previous lessons, 1 foot is equal to 12 inches, 1 yard is equal to 3 feet. For long distances, the mile is used. 1 mile is equal to 1,760 yards. It is also equal to 5,280 feet. Converting from one unit to another might be tricky at first. So, an organized way of doing it would be a good starting point. As the identity property of multiplication states, the product of any value and one is the value itself. Consequently, dividing a value by the same value would be equal to one. Thus, dividing a unit by its equivalent in another unit is equal to one. The English system of measurement was widely used until the 1800s and the 1900s when the metric system of measurement started to gain ground and become the most used system of measurement worldwide. First described by Belgian mathematician Simon Steven in his booklet, The Thin or The Art of Tense, and proposed by English philosopher John Wilkins, the metric system of measurement was first adopted by France in 1799. In 1875, the General Conference on Weight and Measures, or CGPM, was tasked to define the different measurement. By 1960, CGPM released the International System of Units which is now being used by majority of the countries with the biggest expectation being the United States of America. Since our country used to be the colony of the United States, the Filipino people were schooled in the use of the English instead of the metric system of measurement. Thus, the older generation of Filipinos is more comfortable with English system rather than the metric system. Although the Philippines have already adopted the metric system as its official system of measurement, the metric system of measurement is easier to use than the English system of measurement since its conversion factor would consistently be in the decimal system. Unlike the English system of measurement, where units of length have different conversion factors. Check out the units used in your steep tape measure. Most likely, they are inches 
and centimeters. The base unit for length is the meter, and units longer or shorter than the meter would be achieved by adding prefixes to the base unit. The prefixes may also be used for the base units for mass, volume, time, and other measurements. Here are the common prefixes used in the metric system. Now look at the table below. We have different prefixes such as tera, giga, mega, kilo, and deca. We also have symbol and factors to consider. For example, K or Kilo is equal to 1,000. Mass and Weight Mass and Weight In common language, mass and weight are used interchangeably, although weight is the more popular term. Oftentimes, in the daily life, it is the mass of the given object which is called its weight. However, in the scientific community, mass and weight are two different measurements. Mass refers to the amount of matter an object has, while weight is the gravitational force acting on an object. Weight is an often used in daily life, from commerce to food production. The base SI or International System of Units for weight is the kilogram, which is almost exactly equal to the mass of one liter of water. For the English system of measurement, the base unit for weight is in pound. Since both of these units are used in the Philippine society, knowing how to convert from pound to kilogram or vice versa is important. Some of the more common metric units are the gram and the milligram, while another commonly used English unit for weight is ounce. Here are some of the conversion factors for these units. 1 kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds. As you can see in our illustration, they are just the same. 1 gram is equal to 1,000 milligram. Based on our illustration, we have here 1,000 milligram to convert 1 gram. 1 metric ton is equal to 1,000 kilogram. Now try to imagine 1,000 pieces of 1 kilogram of rice. And 1 car, that is just the same. 1 kilogram is equal to 1,000 gram. Based on our illustration, they are just the same. Another one, we have 1 pound is equal to 16 ohms. Based on our illustration, they are just the same. Volume Now let's proceed to volume. Volume is the amount of space an object contains or occupies. The volume of a container is considered to be the capacity of the container. This is measured by the number of cubic units or the amount of fluid it can contain and not the amount of space the container occupies. The base SI unit for volume is the cubic meter. Aside from the cubic meter, Another commonly used metric unit for volume of solid is the cubic centimeter or cc, while the commonly used metric units for volume of liquids are the liter and the milliliter. Volume formula of some regular shape objects. First, we have the cube. Volume is equal to edge multiplied by the edge multiply by the edge or v is equal to e cube now look at the illustration to get the volume of the cube you have to multiply the three edges or you have to multiply the side three times the second one is rectangular prism volume is equal to length times width times height now look at the illustration 
All you need to do is to multiply the three sides. The next one is triangular prism. Volume is equal to one half times base of the triangular base times height of the triangular base times height of the prism. Or we have V is equal to one half BH multiplied by the height. Now look at the illustration. First, get the area of the triangle or the base. Then, multiply the height. Now let's proceed to cylinder. Volume is equal to pi times twice the radius times height of the cylinder or V is equal to pi r squared h. Now look at the illustration. First, get the area of the base. That is pi r squared. If the given is diameter, you do not need to square the radius. So, get the area of the base, then multiply by the height. Now we have squared base pyramid. Volume is equal to one third times square the side of the base times height of the pyramid or volume is equal to one third s squared h. Now use this illustration. First, get the area of the square. Then multiply it by the height and then multiply by one third. The next one is rectangular base pyramid. Volume is equal to one third times length of the base times width of the base times height of the pyramid or V is equals to one third times length times width times height. The next one is triangle base pyramid. Volume is equal to one third times one half times base of the triangle times height of the triangle times height of the pyramid. Now look at our illustration. First, get the area of the base. Then multiply the height, then multiply it by 1 over 2. The English system of measurement also has its own unit for measuring volume or capacity. The commonly used English units for volume is cubic feet or cubic inches, while the commonly used English units for fluid volume are the pint, quart, or gallon. Other units using conversion factors. Recall from the lesson on length and area that while the Philippine government has mandated the use of the metric system, English units are still very much in use in our society. So it is an advantage if we know how to convert from the English to the metric system and vice versa. Recall as well from the previous lesson on measuring length that a unit can be converted into other unit using conversion factors. Now, here are some of the conversion factors which would help you convert given volume units into the desired volume units. One cubic meter is equal to one million cubic centimeter. Now, I have here an illustration. We need one million cubic centimeter to get a one cubic meter. Next one is one cubic feet is equal to 1,728 cubic inches. So we have to multiply the edge three times, 12 times 12 times 12. Now we have one cubic inches is equal to 16.4 cubic centimeter. And based on the illustration, we have 16.4 cubic centimeter to create one cubic inches. Now we have one cubic meter is equal to 35.3 cubic feet. Now let's use this illustration. We need to create 35.3 cubic feet to make one cubic meter. Next one is one cup is equals to 16 tablespoon. Now let's try another one. We have one gallon is equal to 3.79 liters or approximately we have four liters to make a one gallon. One gallon is equal to four quarts. 
Now, look at our illustration. We have 1 quart is equal to 2 pints. Now, we have 1 pint is equal to 2 cups. Next, we have 1 tablespoon is equal to 3 teaspoons. Since the formula for volume only requires length measurements, another alternative to converting volume from one unit to another is to convert the object's dimension into the desired unit before solving the volume. Now let's try this given example. Let's use solution number one using a conversion factor. How much water in cubic centimeters can a cubical water tank hold if it has an edge of 3 meters. Now let's use the given formula. Volume is equal to e to the third power. We have 3 meters raised to the third power. We have to multiply 3 to the third power and m to the third power. Our product is 27 cubic meter. 27 cubic meter multiplied by the conversion factor which is 1 million cubic centimeter over 1 cubic meter. First, we can cancel out cubic meter. Then, multiply 27 by 1 million cubic centimeter. Our final answer is 27 million cubic centimeter. Now, let's use solution number 2, converting dimension first. Again, we will use the same given. First, get the given which is 3 meter. Multiply by the conversion factor which is 100 centimeter over 1 meter. We can cancel out meter. Then, multiply 3 times 100 cubic centimeter. The answer is 300 centimeter. Now, let's get the formula. Volume is equal to e to the third power. And that is 300 centimeter to the third power. Multiply 300 three times. And centimeter three times. Our final answer is 25 million cubic centimeter. Angles Angles derive from the Latin word angulus, which means corner. An angle is defined as a figure formed when two rays share a common endpoint called vertex. Angles are measured either in degrees or radiant measures. A protractor is used to determine the measure of an angle in degrees. Here is an example of a protractor. In using the protractor, make sure that the crossbar in the middle is aligned with the vertex and one of the legs of the angle is aligned with one side of the line passing through the course bar. The measurement of an angle is determined by its other leg. Types of angles Acute angle is less than 90 degrees. Now here are the following examples. 62 degrees, 54 degrees, 48 degrees, 12 degrees, 71 degrees, and 67 degrees. Next is right angle or equal to 90 degrees. There is only one right angle because right angle is always 90 degrees. Obtuse angle. Angles measures more than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees. Here are my examples. 116 degrees, 105 degrees, 112 degrees, 94 degrees, and 168 degrees. Our next type of angle is based on this kind of illustration. That is reflex angle. It measures more than 180 degrees but less than 360 degrees. Here are my examples. 255 degrees, 244 degrees, 266 degrees, 248 degrees, and 192 degrees. Temperature Temperature is the measurement of the degree of hotness or coldness of an object or substance. While the commonly used units are Celsius, 
for the metric system and Fahrenheit for the English system. The base CI unit for temperature is the Kelvin. Unlike the Celsius and Fahrenheit, which are considered degrees. Here are some conversion factors. Degree Celsius is equal to 5 over 9 multiplied by the difference of degree Fahrenheit and 32. The next one is degree Fahrenheit. It is equal to 9 over 5 multiplied by degree Celsius plus 32. Next one is degree Kelvin is equal to degree Celsius plus 273.15. Now let's try this given example. Convert 100 degree Celsius to degree Fahrenheit. Let's use this given formula. First thing to do is to substitute the value of degree Celsius. And that is 100 degree Celsius. Now let's try to compute. 9 multiplied by 100 divided by 5 is equal to 180. 180 plus 32, our final answer is 212 degree Fahrenheit. Are you ready to answer the module? Good luck! What's more? Independent activity number one. Turn your module to page 10. For letter A, solve using estimation method. Show your solution and your answer. For letter B, match the correct answer from column A to column B. Independent assessment number 1. Turn your module to page 11. Estimate the measure of length given below. Independent activity number 2. Turn your module to page 11. Estimate the measure of volume given below. Independent assessment number 2. Turn your module to page 12. Estimate the measure of temperature given below. Independent activity number 3. Turn your module to page 13. Estimate the measure of an angle using protractor on a given below. Independent assessment number 3. Turn your module to page 14. Make the scale balance by filling in the correct weight. Write your answer on the blank. What I have learned. Now turn your module to page 15. Fill in the blanks with the correct answer. What I can do. Now, turn your module to pages 15 and 16. For letter A, solve the following problem. For letter B, solve the given question below. Assessment Now, turn your module to pages 17 and 18. Now let's answer our post-test. Now select the letter of the correct answer. Additional activity For additional activity, turn your module to page 18. Solve the given problem below. References It's time for you to answer your module. Thanks for watching!